Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the Long Range Invisible Ethernet Bridge Kit, and I'll show you a quick demonstration of how it works. This kit includes everything you need, and the best part is it is all pre-configured. You have two antennas, window and wall mounting hardware, pole mounting hardware, and two J-poles, and there is also an instruction guide which goes over the setup. Setup is straightforward though because these are pre-configured, so your only concern really is going to be running Ethernet and mounting the antennas. Powering the antennas is done by power over Ethernet, so two injectors are included. You'll run an Ethernet cable up to side A, point it to side B, and then the Ethernet cable runs back into the home or the other building where you need to bring the signal. All you have to do then is look to the back of the antennas and the signal lights. Once these are powered on and pointed at each other, they'll automatically pair up and you are ready to go. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have temporarily mounted the antenna on a tripod and we have an ethernet cable running from that antenna back inside. This is going to be our first side antenna, which is outside of the 3G store warehouse. The other side of the antenna is going to be installed across a parking lot. Normally you'd be shooting this to another building or a remote location where you need the signal. The important piece is, is this is point to point, so the antennas do need to have line of sight and be able to see each other. So from the first antenna, we are going to zoom across the parking lot and you can see where the second antenna is going to be placed. For the demonstration, we have the second antenna inside a vehicle and you can see just how far away we are. The back of the antenna then has the signal lights and even at this distance, you can see we have four solid bars. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and do a speed test to a connected laptop. We already have our web browser on this laptop fired up to speedtest.net. So now all we have to do is hit begin test. Now the speeds that we normally get at the warehouse are anywhere between 45 to 50 megabits per second. That is if we are plugged into the local network. Now of course as you saw in the video we are nowhere near the warehouse. We're about a thousand feet away. So running the speed test through the bridge kit, let's take a look at its performance. So the first thing this is going to test is the ping, which is coming in at 20 milliseconds. So we're getting the exact same ping as we would if we were sitting at the warehouse, even though we're a thousand feet away. The next thing that's immediately obvious is the speed we're getting. Even though we are this far away, connected wirelessly to our warehouse, we still have a 34 megabit per second download speed. Upload speed looks like it's going to clock in right around 9 to 12 megabits per second, which is what we normally get at the warehouse when we're just plugged into the local network. So now with zero configuration and just basic aiming, we've created a point-to-point -point wireless link that's over a thousand feet and producing excellent speeds. The bridge kit, however, is capable of doing distances up to and over a mile with proper aiming and direct line of sight. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and for more information, visit 3gstore.com slash bridgekit.